Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Pado once again and we are back to our analysis for this Monday through Wednesday, November 15 to 17, 2021 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. So let's begin with our update. Here is the latest graph set beginning today, Monday until tomorrow, Tuesday. We have still the surge of the northeast monsoon affecting extreme northern Luzon, Taiwan and the northern portions of the West Philippine and South China Seas. And uh, these areas will have breezy conditions about up to 50 up to 50 kph and uh, some drizzles to light rains will also be expected particularly along the coastal areas of extreme northern Luzon. Now meanwhile here across the uh, uh, southern portions of Cagayan, Isabela, Ifugao, Mountain Province, Nueva Biscaya, and uh, also Quirino and Aurora Province, we have here the uh, tail end of a frontal system known as a shear line in technical terms. So these areas will have cloudy conditions with uh, possible thunderstorms and some rainfall because of this uh, uh, tail end. Okay. So, uh, folks uh, down here must take all necessary precautions against possible uh, flash floods and landslides when we have this uh, tail end of a uh, frontal system. Now, here across the eastern sections of uh, uh, northern Quezon, including uh, Marinduque, Oriental Mindoro, Bicol region, Romblon, and the northern portions of Panay Island, up to the northern portions of uh, Sulu Archipelago, we have here the northeasterly surface wind flow, known as northeasterlies, bringing some busy conditions as well as passing showers and isolated thunderstorms, particularly along the coastal areas of the Bicol region. And uh, right now we have a uh, shallow low pressure area which developed during the past 24 hours. So this shallow LPA. Uh, originated from an active uh, intertropical convergence zone and it has detached from that IDZZ and is now approaching the eastern coastline of Mindanao, particularly Davao Oriental. So the uh, trough of that is bringing rains and thunderstorms across eastern Visayas and it will be uh, moving across the rest of the Visayas within the next 24 hours and also a wide area of Mindanao up to the uh, southern portions and uh, actually it's the rest of uh, Palawan and the southern portions of uh, Sulu Archipelago. So uh, these areas will have rainy conditions with some possible uh, thunderstorms because of this uh, shallow LPA which is uh, as of 5 p.m. was estimated around 400 kilometers east of Mati City, Davao Oriental. So this uh, shallow LPA is not expected to become a tropical cyclone. We don't have any percentage here or probability. So it means there is no uh, chance that it will uh, become a tropical cyclone since the uh, circulation has begun to move into the... Uh, uh, islands of Mindanao and Visayas. So again, here areas here, uh, folks living over Mindanao and uh, Visayas, please take all necessary precautions against landslides, flash floods, when we have a strong thunderstorms generated by the trough and the circulation of this shallow LPA. We have here at the back of this text a uh, surface trough which we are going to keep an eye within the next uh, five days because this could become our next low pressure area and it's most likely based on the computer models this is now the potential uh, tropical storm or tropical depression which we are mentioning since last week based on the computer models since yes since uh, last week the uh, computer models shows a curvature but right now, it now shows a possible passage over uh, Eastern Bicol or Eastern Visayas. But again, based on what we see on the latest output of these computer models, it could be just an active low pressure area upon its uh, uh, 
passage of Eastern Visayas of Bicol region at a slow uh, face, okay, or slow movement. So this is uh, crucial since LPA with this kind of a slow moving uh, scenario will cause lots of rainfall across Bicol and uh, Eastern Visayas, particularly this coming uh, weekend. We are going to observe this uh, uh, surface trough for possible development into another LPA. We are not going to uh, remove the possibility that it might not develop into a tropical depression since it's still uh, four to five days from now, but the probability is now at 50% and it now shows a close passage over our area here in Bicol region. So what will be in store during this weekend, lots of rainfall and wind because it will enhance the northeast monsoon or the uh, Amihan across uh, Bicol region and eastern Luzon while over the Visayas it will be the uh, circulation of the upcoming low pressure area which is following this shallow LPA. Just remember that we are on the uh, start of the La Nina phenomenon. That's why we have lots of rainfall we are experiencing uh, beginning this week until uh, next week. So let's hope and pray uh, this won't change into a tropical cyclone. It will remain as a low pressure area because of maybe strong upper level winds. So it may not uh, develop into a tropical depression. But we are keeping an eye on this system until uh, this weekend if it will... Uh, uh, pose a threat to our uh, region, particularly our Bicol region and Eastern Visayas. We'll keep you updated in the coming uh, days, particularly on Wednesday and Friday. So here's the fast animation. So here's the LPA, and this is the trough. Okay, the trough of the LPA affecting uh, Eastern Visayas, while some of its fringe of this trough is affecting Bicol region because of the. Uh, Convergence with the northeasterly surface wind flow, and here comes the uh, other uh, surface trough which we are uh, monitoring for possible development into a the next tropical uh, disturbance or LPA. And here is the uh, zoom in satellite animation. There, there are lots of thunderstorms that could bring rainfall over uh, Bicol region, uh, Visayas, Mimoropa, and Mindanao, while here over. Isabella and the Quirino and some areas of Cagayan Valley we are experiencing we are looking at a uh, strong thunderstorm generated by the shear line or the tail end of a frontal system now here's the rainfall accumulation for the next three days until Wednesday here is the uh, rainfall generated by the uh, uh, northeast monsoon and the, uh, and the tail end of a frontal system or the shear line affecting Cagayan Valley and uh, northeasterlies affecting the uh, coastal areas of the southern Aurora and northern Quezon including Purillo Island while over the Bicol region we could expect also some on and off rainfall particularly more frequent along the eastern sections that includes Catanduanes, Caramuan Peninsula Mm, also across eastern Albay and uh, Sorsagon. This is due to the uh, northeasterly surface wind flow. And here over the Visayas, particularly this area, you can see here, this is the uh, possible passage of the shallow LPA. That's why the rainfall here is much intense across southern Sulu, Palawan, uh, Mindanao as well, Bohol Sea and portions of the Visayas. So please take all the precautions against this uh, uh, rainfall that will be generated by this shallow LPA. And here comes the uh, other surface stuff that we are keeping an eye for possible uh, development into another low pressure area that is expected to pose a threat to our country this weekend. And if you take a look at the uh, forecast model, so we begin with the American model GFS so tomorrow the uh, surface trough might become a uh, surface, so I mean might become a, uh, a shallow LPA and on Wednesday afternoon it will be uh, entering par as a shallow LPA and on Thursday it will be uh, approaching the eastern coastline of the Bicol region but it will slow down here because of a uh, frontal system that is developing up north and on Friday uh, the frontal system 
will start to uh, develop here moving towards the northeast and its uh, tail end or the shear line will start to connect with this uh, potential low pressure area making it stationary to the east of Canandoanes and here comes the northeast surge or the enhanced northeast monsoon affecting northern Bicol and on Saturday that shallow LPA will start to move into the Albay Gulf and likely to bring rains and thunderstorms across the whole of the Bicol region and on uh, Sunday it will be uh, this it will dissipate along the Visayas so uh, expect rainfall this coming weekend because of this uh, shallow LPA so that's the American model now let's take a look at the uh, European model let's go back to Tuesday uh, November 16 so uh, on the uh, European model on Tuesday it will become a uh, low pressure area a shallow one and on Wednesday it might enter the Philippine Air Responsibility north of Palau and on Thursday it remain as a broad low pressure area approaching the eastern coastline of uh, Eastern Visayas and the Bicol region around 500 kilometers to the east and on Friday November 19 it will start to remain quasi stationary as a new frontal system develops to the south of Japan with its uh, shoreline or the tail end connecting to this uh, LPA and on Saturday the uh, uh, frontal system will speed up to the northeast and the shear line continues to connect with uh, uh, the uh, potential LPA but the northeast monsoon will start to push this system towards eastern Visayas so this is different from the American model because the American model shows it here over the Albay Gulf while the uh, Euro European model is here so let's gonna use the uh, blue for the American model. So there you go. So these are the uh, two uh, position of the uh, reliable computer model. So based on these two forecast on Saturday, it, most likely that it will bring rainfall and winds of the northeast monsoon across the Bicol uh, region. And on Sunday, it will uh, dissipate or weaken into a uh, surface trough as it uh, traverses Visayas. So that will be on Sunday, uh, November 21st. So that's a uh, five to six day forecast. So at as of this time, it's around 50% probability that it will uh, be coming through, that it will uh, push through. So we will keep you updated this coming Wednesday since uh, as we as the weekend uh, goes nearer the probability will uh, eventually increase but the good news it it's not uh, showing any tropical uh, cyclone development just a uh, shallow or even an active low pressure area but we are not going to rule out the possibility that it may become a tropical depression so uh, let's double uh, check the system in the coming days we will keep you updated once uh, we have new information particularly in the coming weekend so there you go that's the latest for this uh, Monday evening November 15 and we will be returning again on Wednesday November 17 to give you the very latest on that uh, potential low pressure area which is uh, currently to the south of Guam while the shallow one will start to traverse Mindanao in the next 24 hours. Again, from Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pada reporting. Stay safe always, be hashtag and thank you so much for watching our channel.